And on we go with It's Barely News. All right. Uh, yeah, the first story is Textron has won uh, the handover for the DJI source code in a drone patent fight. We talked about DJI having a lot of patents, but you know who else had a patent? It was Textron, and DJI infringed on it, the courts say. So they actually had to hand over a uh, code, in my understanding. They actually had to give them a chunk of source code, which is pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. It's pretty crazy that anyone won anything against DJI in court. Also true. Uh, do we like Textron? Who the hell is Textron? Uh, I'm not sure. Textron is a, I don't know, a fan. Okay. So the, I think they're the another, another drone company, but I'm not sure what they built or why they had the fight with them. So. The takeaway from this is someone beat DJI in court. FDJI. Yes. Okay. DJI was doing the thing they always do, which is saying, hey, no, of course, we, it's ours. Didn't settle out of court or anything, and then uh, lost in a battle and had to hand over code. So okay. the, the thing about it is, is uh, the, the weird part is, and I think we just saw this in gaming recently, too, for some reason. But basically, I mean, it's one thing to have an infringement and pay out for an infringement case, right, or something. Mm -hmm. There's another piece to say, like, hey... Uh, you literally have to hand us a chunk of source code from your develop, right. like your actual running, working code. And that could include private other things, like how they've developed that code and what they've done with it and how it's interacting mm -hmm. with their yeah. pieces. I, I just think that's kind of wild because that doesn't happen every day. So, yeah. 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 Far out. Uh, next up, the goggles Integra now support the DJI FPV drone. Yeah. That's cool. DJI adding old old support to new products. Yeah. So if you have the DJI FPV drone and have been holding off buying the goggles Integra because they didn't used to support it. Wait, but the goggles do support the FPV drone, don't they? No. They don't? Not, no, they, they didn't never before. Did. Oh, yeah. now they do. But yes. the G2 and the Integra? Yes. Well, good for you. Anybody who bought the DJ FPV drone and was thinking you made a terrible mistake, you did. Well, but now you, also, can, you can mitigate that and, mistake. And for all the people excited, this also adds remote ID. So, uh, <laughs> you... oh, there's always a catch. There's always yeah. a catch. Please, sir, may I have some more? Uh, believe me, if DJI fills up that bowl, there's a freaking chicken bone in it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, people wanted us to mention that uh, this happened. Um, I couldn't find, I couldn't even find this Facebook page when I, you know how Facebook is, to actually uh, get the direct links because it's so challenging to search anything on Facebook. But uh, I was told, and this uh, tells us that the Canadian Nationals were canceled. The multi-GP Canadian Nationals were canceled because they lost their venue, um, and unfortunately, um, you know, they were going to probably cancel it. They were going to try to reschedule it. Um, and it looks like now they're going to try to schedule it for November, and it'll be an indoor race. So anybody who was wondering about the Canadian Nationals or trying to plan for it, anything like that, mm -hmm. um, that is now shifted to November, most likely. Okay. So keep an Great. eye out for those changes. Canadian Nationals. Uh, is it, does that suggest that Canada is an independent nation of its own instead of just like a suburb of the United States? I mean, what, wouldn't they just have think, like the apparently. United States Nationals? <laughs> right. Like they don't have like they play they play in our baseball league right i don't say it okay okay canada you go with your nationals <laughs> you so cute canada uh lewis rossman right. well, what you want to talk more about that i what i'm surprised okay. um you Not know do, do you know that in the new you know in the new linus uh, uh linus tech tips their live stream the wan show now uh luke has a mute button for linus in case Linus is going to say something really offensive. I thought of you when I learned that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> that you might like a mute button for me. I thought about me, too. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Louis Rossman. Proof yeah. that a, a, a middle-aged Jewish man sitting in a recliner can be a successful YouTube creator. My God, there's hope for us all. What did he say lately? 
Yeah, so um, he's hopped on uh, XJet's videos, actually. I believe he knows XJet a little bit um, from comments and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, he has wanted to let everybody know, and I thought this is pretty cool that we got a uh, fairly large figure, you know, 1.85 million subscribers and doing all kinds of, you know, government stuff, uh, talking about how remote ID sucks and why it sucks and how surveillance is BS and mm -hmm. uh, kind of a lot of the things we've talked about a lot, you know, is this a violation of rights? Yes, probably. Uh, criminals are never going to use your modules, so it makes no sense. Uh, you know, he kind of goes through the whole thing. And I thought it was uh, pretty cool to see that he was doing this. He's done this with many other uh, things, with electronics and technology and right to repair, and uh, kind of goes on for more of this here. So I thought that was pretty neat. I mean, it is neat. I, uh, is it is it too late? Well, sure. You know, but you know what I mean? Is, is it too late? Here's what I'll say is no matter what, more people understanding how much BS it is and that it's BS, I think is helpful. Especially it's always a good thing. Watching, watching Lewis Rossman. So, yeah. yeah. Fair enough. I would love to have Lewis Rossman. I mean, as hard as he's fought for right to repair, I would love to see him putting that kind of energy into remote ID. It can't be a bad thing. You know? I've, been, I've been trying to follow that a little bit. Um, I think the biggest issue is that you know, didn't he, didn't they basically get boned on right to repair? Didn't right to repair get flipped like at the last minute yep. and then changed it into another thing? And then, yep. yeah, it looked so... like it was going to go through. And then at the last, I don't remember the details. I read some stories about it, but the, yeah. the you know, the lobbyists won and the law got right. changed and, yeah. and the rug got pulled right the heck out from underneath him. Yeah. As it so, always, yeah. you know, as it always would have been to astronauts in space.